And hello everybody, welcome back to our open form video And we are continuing, we are continuing where we last left off uh, we were last In our last video we talked about just some introduction to this thing called Toposet Dict And what Toposet does is to help us to select certain groups of cells uh, And you can group them up as uh, cells or faces And group them up as face sets and then you uh, thereafter from this create patch utility we can we can actually uh, assign them as uh, patches you can turn these face sets into patches all right so how do we uh, start with this uh, with this uh, business anyway so first thing first we want to discuss uh, how we actually select uh, cells or faces and for starters we are only interested in dealing with the boundary faces because we are not dealing with any other kind of faces so to speak so we want to select all the boundary faces okay so according to open form wiki in this thing called topo set we can actually get a face set from the boundaries so remember i was uh, talking about uh, um, selecting group sets of faces so we can actually uh, one of the ways of uh, selecting the, f the all the external faces is to go for this uh, where is it yeah go for this uh, boundary to face okay that will select all boundary faces no problem now the other way of course is to use this thing called patch to face and remember in our in our okay snappy pipe in our constant folder and polymesh we have this thing called boundary here now this mesh only has one patch which is this thing known as the entire cylinder so this cylinder basically becomes our patch that we want to deal with okay so let's go to try surface. Oh, wrong one. Not try surface. Go to VI system and topo set. Dict. So most of these things I can just delete because, uh, yeah, you don't really need them. So I'll just have one, uh, one uh, entry, and that's the first entry is just to select the entire cylinder okay so i'll just press dd to delete and you're pressing the letter d a lot and one more there you go so the first thing is that we want to select a face set so we we make a new face set all right and then we'll call it simply to avoid confusion cylinder so this is a face set and what we want to do is to create a new face set that's why the action is new now of course we can select the 3d version which is called cell set but that is not what we want here the next thing is to define our source so the source is known as the source is known as a patch to face, right? So we need to write patch to face. Okay, so for this case, there is no box, we'll just have cylinder. And then we put a semicolon there. Okay, we'll write it in. So what what is this cylinder? This cylinder is the face set that we are talking about. And this cylinder is where we get our data from. So remember, we looked at our boundary. We had one cylinder patch down there. So we are using that cylinder patch and we are selecting all the faces in that face set uh, and putting it as a, uh, creating a new face set simply called cylinder. Okay? So. Uh, that's what we are doing. We are taking the cylinder from the boundary 
and creating a new face set called cylinder. Of course, we can do it. We can name it as cylinder two to avoid confusion. But uh, in order to prevent uh, too many names from being written, I will just leave it, leave it as that. So now, let's take a look and see whether we can run topo set. Topo set. Okay. So it says reading topo set update, time equals zero. Basically, it's uh, created a face set called cylinder, right? That's all we are doing. Applying source patch to face. And yeah. So what it did is to just add all the faces of patches one, which is the cylinder. And then it found that this patch has a uh, almost two hundred thousand faces. And this is the first face set that we make. That is basically to select everything here. With the entire cylinder. Alright. But then you may ask, what is the use of selecting the entire cylinder? Well, um, firstly, we only want to deal with boundary faces. So that's why we select the entire cylinder first. And then the question is, how do we get this... Uh, how do we select the faces on this... Uh, uh, little the ends so to speak okay how do we select the faces on the end that's the other question so to do that uh, we can look online and there was a very useful link that's on this CFD online forums that I found okay and this guy this guy actually shows us how to use topo set to carve out the shapes that we want so I'll leave the link in the description but I will try and walk you through the logic of it now the, the difficult thing is that we cannot just use let's say a box right a box oh, there should be no fill yeah I can't just use a box to select uh, this this surface right why not well um, because if I were to say use this thing called box to face if I were to use this thing called box to face um, I would not just be selecting the outside cells the box will also no I would not be just selecting the faces that are on the surface or boundary faces I would also be selecting the internal faces if I use the box so when I use the box to select I will not just be uh, selecting the orange bits I'll be selecting the purple bits as well which I don't really want to select and that makes it challenging so what is the workaround well very simply it's this to do something called like subtraction so remember we our first phase set was this is the is the outside cylinder boundary and all we have to do is to sort of subtract off this part right the part I'm circling in blue so how do we do that well the workaround is that we use the box still okay okay so the orange thing is the the full version so this is just surface and this is the full with uh, internal faces okay now what can you do with a box the box can make a negative so to speak it can select the stuff that you want to subtract so what we do is okay I will select all these uh, internal and external faces here which I don't want except for this little disk in front which will become my inlet patch okay so what I do I have a negative I create a negative or a mold so, so to speak 
Okay, and what will that mold look like? It will have the internal faces like this. We'll have the internal faces like this. So it's everything, everything except this shaded area, right? internal plus external so this will be just the external bit right so what can we do we just do a simple subtraction that says hey I want to take this set of cells this entire set of cells this blue color set of cells or this blue color set of faces I want to subtract all the cells, I mean all the faces that are in this green set. So the external uh, faces here in the blue surface uh, will be compared to this uh, green face set which contains both internal and external faces. And this one's only the external. So these two will be compared. And then, of course, uh, it will be compared to the internal faces as well. But since the internal faces are not there, there's nothing to subtract, so to speak. And OpenFoam doesn't seem to really care whether you are, you are using an external set, external set to subtract, the yeah, internal set to subtract from an external set. So if you have uh, cells 1, 2, 3 here, and you have cells 2, 3, 4, and 5, in this uh, or rather faces 1 2 and 3 and then you have the faces 2 3 4 5 in this green set you do a subtraction what you're left with is just 1 because the 4 and 5 are missing open form doesn't really care at least that's from experience so that's how how it works for some reason so what we are left with is just the blue disk after you've done the subtraction and that's what we are going to continue to do in our next video. Uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.